why testers or those working in quality assurance should learn Docker and Kubernetes. With the evolution of cloud native and microservices, knowledge of Docker and Kubernetes has become quite important. So what all things you should learn in a Kubernetes project working as a quality assurance or tester or test engineer? And what kind of a job opportunities are available for testers in Kubernetes? This post is going to be useful for anyone working on Kubernetes or planning to learn Kubernetes. And this episode is going to be useful even if you are not a tester. So stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of weekly video series on Docker and Kubernetes with me Atul Kumar from team Keton Academy where we take you from complete beginner to a certified Kubernetes administrator or developer. So before I tell you what testers or QA should test in Kubernetes or why it's important for testers and QA or even if you're not a tester, what all things you should test, let me give you some context behind the Kubernetes or why you should learn Kubernetes. Now, if you look at evolution of development and deployment, things have changed or the development process have gone from waterfall model to agile to DevOps. Similarly, the application architecture has gone from monolithic to the end tier where you have a database tier, apps tier or web tier to now microservices. And these microservices run on containers and when you have hundreds and thousands of containers running across different machines, you need some orchestration tool like Kubernetes to manage it. Now there are different Kubernetes options like Mesos, Kubernetes or Docker Swarm available in the market and Kubernetes have come out a definitive winner in container orchestration and management tool. So if you look at the Kubernetes, there are two certifications available for Kubernetes. One is targeted for developers, which is certified Kubernetes application developer that's on right. And second is certified Kubernetes administrator that CKA targeted for administrators and architects. And we have a training for both certified Kubernetes administrator, which is CKA, as well as for certified Kubernetes application developer, that is CKAD. And in both these trainings, we provide a one year on job support post training. So I run a free class of approximately 90 minutes talking about CKA or CKAD, including what all things you need to learn and in what order for these certifications. So in these free classes, I get a lot of questions related to quality assurance or testers or those who are working in automation or as a test engineer or a test managers. The common questions are like how Kubernetes is certification is going to add value or what all things we should be learning or is it even useful for automation uh, testers or those who are working in quality assurance or testing or are there even jobs available specific for testers in Kubernetes. So hence I decided to create a video answering all those questions. So first of all, yes, there are jobs specifically for testers. So like as I said earlier that there is a transition happening for applications going from waterfall to agile to DevOps and everything is built on microservices that are deployed inside containers and managed by Kubernetes. So when application developers are developing the applications, architects are designing these applications and administrators are deploying these containers, Kubernetes clusters, and then you need the testers to test these applications. So the question is what all things you as a tester or those working in QA should be learning. So let's first look at the things that you should be learning. So the first thing you'll be doing like as you do in any other software testing is the tool you will select whether it's a manual or automated tool. And if you're looking at the manual thing, the basic things you'll be beginning with is checking the status of cluster nodes. There are different nodes. There are multiple master node and multiple worker nodes. So using kubectl, you'll be checking whether all the nodes are available and into the cluster. So the second thing you'll be checking is pods. So pods are nothing but collection of one or more containers on which you deploy your application to make sure that pods are available and are distributed across different nodes. Then you would like to also check the deployment of application by running a application or a container inside the pod. You will also would like to test the scale up or deployments and deployments are nothing but way to deploy your applications which can be scaled up or auto heal in case there are issues and there are a lot of other things you can do and this will come as you're implementing depending on that you would like to test these things. So other things are to make sure that pods are replicated across worker nodes 
and you would also like to expose a service for the end users and see whether this service is available from external users. Now there are automated tests you can do and now one of the most common um, automated test tool you use is cube test. The latest version of that is cube test 2 and this is a part of E2E which is end-to-end -end testing framework from cloud native computing foundation CNCF. So there are thousands of tests which are part of E2E which you can download the package from the GitHub and under the comment section I'll share if you're watching this on YouTube channel um, or any other channel I'm going to share the link of our blog where we're going to publish more details related to these where this uh, GitHub repository for these tests are. So there are thousand plus tests or automated tests as a part of E2E testing and you just run cube test and then the test name or different options available with as a part of that. You also have 150 plus conformance test and these are kind of a compliance test and when you run these tests and upload the report to CNCF Cloud Native Computing Foundation they can issue a certificate mentioning that your deployment is certified Kubernetes deployment. Now all these tests which I'm talking about as a part of E2E test these are maintained by Kubernetes special interest group related to testing. There are other third-party testing tools as well like Sonoboy or if you're using deploying packages or if you're using Helm, you can also use Terra test as a testing tool for deploying or managing the Helm chart, Kubernetes or Docker. So if you quickly have a look at cube test, the repository is available on GitHub. You can look at that. The latest version of that is cube test 2, which is the next iteration of your cube test. Now this cube test is a part of end-to-end -end or E2E testing in Kubernetes. Again, the repository, GitHub repository for the E2E, I'll put it in the show notes or you can check it from the URL above as well. So there are different type of tests available and on top of these tests, you can also do the test like the performance test, scalability test, non-functional test like security testing and all the testing that you do in a development lifecycle, all those can be Kubernetes or applied on Kubernetes and plus more. Now this entire E2E is also part of a bigger thing which is test infra. Again, the repository for test infra will be shared, will given above, or I'll put it in my show notes on our blog, which is Ketone Academy blog. So this test for infra provides tools and configuration file for testing and automation needs that are required for Kubernetes. So if you're working in automation, worth looking at test infra. And as I said earlier for conformance test or compliance test, this is a set of tests, 150 plus tests, which are part of E2E test within you can use or you can run this by giving an option within your cube test package and you will get the result out of these tests and when you upload this result of these tests uh, to the CNCF foundation you get a certified Kubernetes badge which you can use add to say or validate mentioning that this is verified or this setup is verified by Kubernetes. So when you're in a part of testing team in or automation team in Kubernetes project you'll be running or doing these things or potentially automate all these things like creating a cluster, updating a cluster, running end-to-end -end test, and then you can destroy that as a part of your CI-CD pipeline or Jenkins. If you want to look at the third-party uh, testing tool, Sonoboy is quite common or commonly used, so ha worth having a look at their website as well uh, for, for that. Now, you download the tool and you can run the tool and it'll give you the report like this, which says how many tests were run, how many were failed, and then you can dig a little bit deeper onto these test cases as well. Apart from that, you also have Terra test, as I said. So the Terra test is maintained by Gruntworks and you can use it for testing your Docker images or Helm charts. So Helm is a package manager for Kubernetes. For if you're deploying any package or applications, you can use Helm chart. So testing for that, you can use Terra test. Now, looking at the demand in Kubernetes and Docker or Kubernetes projects, there are jobs specific to Kubernetes tester, but for that, you should also have the knowledge of Kubernetes, especially the architecture, the common task you do, deployments, and depending on the type of role you're playing. So if you're already a tester, or even if you're not a tester, you're working on a Kubernetes project, having a knowledge of test cases or running these test cases, whether it's a performance test, security test, functionality test, uh, these tests, and building these test cases or having a these knowledge of these test cases will definitely help in earning a better paid uh, jobs. Now with that, as I said, we have two programs and uh, if you're already part of my training, you'll be excited that we'll be adding 
topics related to testing in both our trainings that is certified kubernetes administrator and the certified kubernetes application developer so both have a comprehensive step-by-step -step programs one first one which is CKA which is targeted for administrators or architects or anyone who's beginning with certified or beginning with Kubernetes this is where we'll cover all concepts and architecture and everything related to storage networking security troubleshooting the second which is CKAD is more targeted towards developers but if you're an architect or tester it will still come handy to you now important thing in both the training program we provide we also provide a one year on job support which is quite important and comes handy when you're working on a project and you need some help around your project now if you're interested to know more about certified kubernetes application developer or if you're a beginner and want to know about what all seven things you should be learning in order to become a certified kubernetes application developer or of what all things you as a or why you should learn kubernetes then uh, i would like to invite you for a free master class that i run with kubernetes expert mamta where we go deep into docker and kubernetes and cover things like why to learn docker and kubernetes and we briefly touch base very quickly about uh, the difference between container virtual machines pod or docker we also look at the services like monolithic versus microservices and then seven things you need to learn or from a certification point of view this will not help only help you in certification but also learn this right from beginner to a expert level in kubernetes we also going to talk about 35 hands-on lab that you must perform in order to be a certified kubernetes expert so the url to register for approximately 90 minute free class is ketoneacademy.com forward slash kubernetes dev 02 now as i said earlier there are two certification programs from cloud native computing foundation the organization behind uh, the open source community or cloud native or kubernetes is the two programs first one is the certified kubernetes administrator targeted for administrators second one is for developers that is certified kubernetes application developer so the next question comes is as a tester what should you learn or as a architect which one you should learn so my first point would be between the two exams so why not learn both most of the guys who come to our program either an administrator they end up doing developer or developer end up doing administrator but if you're beginning or if you just want to do one begin with first if you move towards install configure administrator and then you should move towards administrator first or if you are more from a development background or if you want to do more about you enjoy more coding or developing application then you can begin with application developer so just to do a quick recap there are jobs specific to testers in kubernetes and even if you're working in kubernetes these test knowledge will definitely be helpful so you should be looking at manual or automated tests now you should also be make yourself familiar with cube test or one of these testing tools like sonoboy or terra test depending on your requirement so the knowledge of whether it's a ck certified kubernetes administrator or ck ad which is certified kubernetes application developer or both will become very handy now don't forget to register for this free class which you'll learn a lot trust me on by going to ketoneacademy.com forward slash kubernetes dev 02 now also don't forget to share this with your colleagues who are working on testing or not working on testing but would like to learn new things like docker and kubernetes and don't forget to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel and also share it with your friends next week i'm going to discuss another common topic or question we get the difference between certified kubernetes administrator and certified kubernetes application developer these two certifications which one should i do first or should i do both or not and what is the exam wise topic differences that you need to learn in order to become a certified kubernetes application administrator or a developer i'll see you next week with another episode on docker and kubernetes this is atul from team ketone academy thanks for listening take care bye bye